Now, one of the ways to create content for your emails inside of your draft will be to do a blog broadcast. And AWeber has that blog broadcast in the messages area. And all you'll have to do is to go to that link and then click create a blog broadcast. Now, if you are a blogger or a podcast, you'll be able to create your broadcast by having your RSS feed URL. Now, this is going to happen every time you publish a certain amount of content. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to write in a subject so that your customers will recognize that this is going to be your content and that you have actually published something new. So you can actually write in here something like new post. You can actually personalize that subject line so that when the person actually sees the email, they're going to see their name. They're going to see that it is a new post. So what you can then do is you can write in a message that's going to appear every time that you have new content. We can actually put that same message inside of the plain text box so that it also goes out. Now, if your content is from a WordPress blog, AWeber can actually tell you how to find the feed URL for your RSS. And typically it is going to be in one of the forms that you see here. We can take that feed information and we can place that in our feed. And then we can actually choose a template. Now you'll notice that we've just got writing here, but we can actually use a template or you can leave it in the plain format. And that is what we are going to do. Now, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll notice that we can actually control the send time of the content and the email. So we can actually send the broadcast either immediately or we can send it at a specific time. We can also determine how often we send the broadcast, which will not be dependent on how often we publish. So for example, we can send a broadcast on a certain period of the day, a certain time of the month. We can send it automatically. And of course, we can continue to track clicks. So once we've determined how we're going to send our broadcast, we can then click the items and then we can click save blog broadcast. So now we have an automated, so now we have automated content so that whenever we actually have new content on our blog, it's actually going to be sent to people according to our post reaching the number four. This is a great way of actually keeping the people who actually want your content well aware of what it is that you are doing. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.